Welcome back to Weekend Out. My name is Gaurav. Naam to suna hoga. It's time for us to eat right now. And I'm going to tell you this, that flavors and flavors of the season have been changing, right? So it was Chinese, then it was Indian, then it was Japanese. For a long time, it was Peruvian. And now the flavor of this season is definitely Turkish. Now, a lot of restaurants have sprung up in Dubai in the past few months. But I'm going to take you to one of the most promising ones here. It's at the Grovna House and it's called Ruya. Uh, we describe it as modern, modern Anatolian, so it's, it's Turk based on the Turk food of Turkey. Um, we've taken basic classic dishes, uh, interpreted them and t made them more modern, uh, while still retaining the, the, the history and the culture. You know, we're not f doing anything fusion, we're not taking it outside the box, we're just making, bringing it up, uh, elevating it to a new uh, level, really. The best place to meet a chef and find out about his food is his kitchen and that's exactly where I'm headed. So I'm with the man who's responsible for this kitchen and all the food that comes out of it. This is the man who's making all the waves at Ruya, Chef Colin. Good, Good to see you. Pleasure, pleasure. Colin, I'm going to ask you something. Now, this is not related to food. This is related to the person that you are, mm -hmm. right? You've got such an impressive CV. You've turned around so many restaurants, created so many of them. Okay. I want to understand from you that when you get an offer to sort of build a new restaurant and you're taking a new cuisine or, or rather an existing cuisine but making it new, what goes on in your mind? Because I was following some of your Instagram posts and they were very interesting. You were looking at the knives you want to buy in Istanbul and you were in markets trying kebabs. So what was going on in your mind? It's, it's a case of, you know, I really like history. So when I see a country and I'm traveling around, I really want to get into the past. Right. And, you know, street markets, all the you know, casual end is where you find all the great stories, you know. And then it's taking those historical recipes and, and the tradition and the culture and modernizing it and bringing it forward. And that's, that's what it's all about. Really. It's amazing and I believe yeah. what you've done is you've, you've kept the authenticity of the food mm -hmm. but, yeah. but still made it different. It looks different, it appears different yeah, but we, essentially the taste is the same. The, we're definitely not a fusion, you know. Right. So what we do is we take the uh, traditional ingredients and we just maybe twist them a little bit. But the, you know, if you're from Turkey, you would come to the restaurant and you would recognize everything right. that we do. You wouldn't necessarily, th ah, I can get that back at home, but you definitely know what you're eating. Yeah. But right now he's going to show us one of uh, his signature dishes, that's the leverek, right? Mm -hmm. And you've made quite a change in the way it's done here. These days, it's so difficult to say whether food uh, is, is a science or is it an art. Look at this. Now, this is a piece of art. So that's the finished dish. That's the leverek. Uh, we'll send it to the table so you can have it for your lunch. Thank you, because I'm going to have a lot more than just the leverek. So that's the leverick and uh, it's finally here to be consumed. I can't wait to have this. But you've got to tell me a little bit about how you feel seeing this leverek so polished and so stylish. Actually, uh, this is one of our trips with Colin uh, to the west part. Uh, it's a city called Izmir, and there's a small town called Alacete. It's a really, really old, uh, old town. So we're in a fish restaurant, and levrek means sea bass in Turkish. Right. And uh, the dish is a, is a type of meze, and it's called uh, marine levrek, which is marinated levrek. Right. Now this this looks amazing. I can't wait to try this. So let's try. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Thank you. What the apple juice has done to it. Yeah. It's nice, it's fresh and, and the love, the little bit of the tang that's coming in from the mustard, the punch. The punch. The mustard the gives it. Beautiful. Exactly. Oh, this is nice and fresh and full of flavors. Perfect for Dubai weather actually. Mm, it's lovely, I love it. Okay, so this is your media dolma. Yeah. And you've got to tell me how this is had. I recommend you to eat this with your hands. You have to show me how, I'm going to follow you. I'll uh, put some lemon for the cake if you... Yes, yes, okay. please. Okay. Street food in fine dining style always yeah. manages to impress me. So okay, first so one was a meze yeah. and this one is a street food. Okay, so what and I told you, have a big, big, big cultural street food. Wow. And I said it's really light also. 
So you can eat like when I'm back home, like in summer, I eat like 20, 30 pieces like just for lunch, that's it. I bet I could do more than 30 pieces alone. This is <laughs> so tasty. So this is uh, mussels that's stuffed with rice, then it has breadcrumbs on top. No, breadcrumbs and fennel and uh, celery. Oh celery. my god, this is beautiful, I love this. And I have never ever had mussels like this. Yeah, thank you. Never. Beautiful. Just have one more thing. Yeah, this is amazing, I love it, I love it. So while Umud and I are enjoying this fantastic Turkish food and, and, and the story and history behind this, there's something else I want you to see and that is a, a great Friday brunch that they do. They have almost a spread of 40 to 45 dishes from their menu and this is something that you must see. And Umud, you are my new best friend. You are my I'm too. going to see a lot more of you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I love this food. Friday brunch is a best of, if, if you like, you know, it, it, there's a vast spectrum of the menu. So it's a good way of trying as many dishes as you can at a very reasonable price. I mean, all the cold starters on the pass is in a type of buffet style, as are the desserts. So there's a huge selection there. And then whilst you're eating your starters, uh, the waiters pass around with all the grilled meats and the pides and the lamacons and all these things, sort of things. And then you get to choose your main course and go back to the buffet for the thing. So, uh, I mean, normally we have 52 dishes on the menu and I think 40 plus are available for the brunch. So, you know, you're, you're, you can have a good exposure to what we're all about, really. It's the most amazing brunch in the world. It's uh, very fun and it's uh, something that you can get with friends. I'm enjoying this place actually. Second time I've been, absolutely fantastic. The food's been quite incredible. It's one of my favourite brunches now, I was just saying to my husband. It's definitely one of my top two brunches in Dubai now. It's absolutely beautiful. You can hear it, the music's fantastic. Wonderful, friendly waiter as well, who um, knows all of his dishes very well. He's, the ambience is incredible. Like the, the decor, how the place looks is lovely. And the food is, is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love this place. I love everything about it. I love the uh, interior design and I love the food. And it's a really great, buzzy environment. Personally for me, other than the food, I just think the interiors are stunning. Uh, I love the combination of colours and the textures, and it's a great location. Rua is stylish. A complete fine dining package. Absolutely royal, amazing. <laughs>